complaints? No, no very, complaints. very few complaints. Right. And uh, there's just one, one little hump that we mm -hmm. have to get over, and it's coming across our area right now. It doesn't look like too much, but there's a cold front off to our west. This is a lot of radar clutter across the Omaha metro area. But I'll zoom out. I'll show you exactly where this front is. It's pretty much right through Saunders County, back toward Lincoln, down toward the Fairbury area, and it's coming through dry, despite these radar returns showing up. A lot of that's coming from the Grand Island radar, getting a little bit of moisture in the higher levels of the atmosphere, but I'll take this away, and you can see that the actual light rain showers behind this front toward Ord, Kearney, Holdridge, they're slowly progressing off to our east, but there's so little moisture behind this front that there's only a 20% chance of rain overnight. Nevertheless, if Omaha does see that rain, it would be just after midnight, and it could linger into parts of western Iowa through early tomorrow morning, but it's all coming as rain. No concerns, it's coming at the right time, very late at night, so if you're gonna be a night owl, well, you might have to uh, dodge a couple of drops. But look at the dew points. We rarely look at dew points during this time of the year, but 20s, 30s, near 40. That's still really dry air anytime you're talking about precipitation that's trying to get to the ground. And look at the difference between the dew point and the temperatures. The dew point is 33 at Hastings, temperatures 38. So there's still a little bit of a discrepancy between those two numbers. We like those numbers to be closer together if we're going to get any type of precipitation at the surface. It's 46 at Appley right now. Still feels really warm. Upper 40s to near 50, just off to our south. And again, the dew point in Omaha is 38. So we still have a way to go before we saturate enough to see the rain at the surface. Winds calming down as that front pushes through, and they'll change from the south, southeast to the northwest behind the front. 51 for our high earlier today, 40 for the low, and our average high is 38. That just shows you how unusual this weather pattern is. Showers push off to our east through the early morning hours on Sunday. High pressure already building in, clearing the clouds out of here, bringing calmer winds as we go into the second half of the day. And that ridge drops off to our south. And you're going to see a lot of these lines on my forecast over the next several days. These are little low pressure troughs, basically just tiny, tiny disturbances coming through. And we have a very strong jet stream that are going to push these tiny disturbances through here from time to time early next week. But notice as they come through, Maybe a couple of clouds. That's about it. No moisture along these little troughs through the week. 36 starting off tomorrow morning with the showers east of Omaha. 42 at noon. And then we clear out through the second half of the day. A high of 48 degrees. Up to 54 on Monday. 57 on Tuesday. And we keep climbing a little bit more into the upper 50s and near 60 Wednesday and Thursday. And just tiny rain chances for the first half of the week. We start to bring in a little more rain and likely all rain as we go into this upcoming weekend as we finally see a bigger storm system move in here. But look at that. Yeah. 50s. A for five of the seven days. Right, a roller coaster of temperatures, huh? Good stuff. Right. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs>